All right, people, welcome back. More Dead Pro Dual Commentary. We are joined by Stanzi. What? No, fuck by Stanzi. <laughs> serious? I oh, my God. I could get into the fucking room. <laughs> Look, oh, what? There's no blue. Can't find it. Oh, this is what I'm searching. I'm searching single. Why is it single? It's it's a match. No. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's probably I don't like, even know why you were deliberately like, searching for a single. Like, it didn't make any fucking sense to me. No, I'm so used to I just leave it in single because, you know, that's what I do. I'll leave it in single. Leave the game the uh, game type of single. Ban list is, you know, the most current one. And then when I'm done, I just go search. Um, quick, single, done, because you'd search for all the things. Like that. That's how I find my matches quickly, so that's how I just have it set all the time. Anyway, we got Helio95 here. PK, bloody fire. Yeah, PK fire, blue gamer 8. And uh, yeah, you saw the multiple Dantes, the Surge, the Graph, the Scarm going through, we have the Guinness. Oh. Like, this deck's gonna get hit. This deck Very is true. going to get hit. Like, oh my god. <laughs> By Dante, one Dante, one. <laughs> Multiple. Personally, personally, I'm in the camp that, that thinks he should be banned. I don't care either or. I do not mind. I'm in, Just... I'm in the camp that I think he should be banned because you know all you need is fucking one Dante. Two, um, two or more is powerful, but all you need is fucking one. Hold up, hold up. Is this man playing Black Wings? Wait. In raided. Wait, wasn't this at in the UK Nationals as a featured match? I believe it was Burning yeah. Abyss versus Blackling, or PK5 versus oh Blackling. Oh my god. It's a what fucking UK feature match. Let's go, boys. Uh, mm -hmm. Blackling got almost won. If that freaking Burning Abyss PK5 guy didn't top deck at Twin Twisters, he would have won that, but nope. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, just like in the finals, top deck that fucking MST. <laughs> Yo! Yeah, but then here we go with the shenanigans. So I don't think that they're gonna. I don't. I don't see them banning Dante because if you ban Dante, then you pretty much ban Beatrice. You pretty much so. killed off the deck. Yeah, like I, I can see I know, one well, Dante. I... At least that way you, you know, that one Dante can't Dante multiple times over and over. Again. Wow, and the rivalry too, and the twin twisters. Oh my God, this is the fucking feature match, people. We're running it back. <laughs> wow, the twin twisters. Ooh, Starlight boy, you catch the Starlight Road, no! <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> I'm surprised more people aren't running Starlight Road with Twin Twisters, Dark Hole, Regeki, shit like that. Not a lot of people are playing Dark Hole and Regeki, but I could definitely see it for the Twin Twisters. Mm. No, Destruction's so, not so too fucking, great. It's just so fucking good, just block the bloody thing, and then you get a Stardust to block fucking future Twin Twisters or anything else. You know, it's like, it's like what, are you, what are you stopping? What are you, what's destroying? Cosmos, they float. Burning Abyss, they float. That's why I say float. A pendulum, they pendulum someone back, so I guess maybe you can hit monarchs. Maybe. Yeah, they don't they don't play March, so I guess they can hit them with it. It'd be a nice out to domain. If it's domain monarchs, you have to monarchs then. <laughs> wow. I don't You're not you say. How dare you summon that card? <laughs> so Block that rivalry. Keep that going up, going strong. Burning this guy opened up really well too, so he's gonna keep he's the warriors. Dead. Dead. Right. So only warriors on the field. And uh cow cap, so go ahead and bounce that back to his hand. Molten Sir and Dante and Wow, oh catch his vanities, God. boy. Love that's you. that's what you gotta do. You gotta stun it up. That's, that's what... And now your twin twisters is gone. Mm -hmm. That's how, that's how you keep up with the top tier shit with your rogue deck. That's why people think that card of mine shouldn't be hit. Because it allows for not meta decks to keep up with the meta decks. But I mean, are you really keeping up with them? You're just playing a whole bunch of back row. <laughs> You're just stunning. Like, that, that you know, it's and not, not really that. But they deck. can fucking do it too. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same, it's the same, exact same argument with fucking Soul Charge back in the day when people were like, Oh no, it's fine, it helps you with lower tier decks fight the higher tier decks because you summon all these monsters and you can like pump out and feel like theirs. Yep, I, I, I already I brought yep, that up. I, I, tell me I didn't bring that up. I, know. I was like, doesn't it remind you? <laughs> I know you already brought it up, but you didn't bring up like that specific argument that you know the whole exact same argument. That yeah, it it's just like okay, so it helps lower tier, lower tier deck, sure. Yeah, yeah. So but that it also justifies helps the fucking you. Tier. There's no like. Yeah, no that, so that justifies. Work. So that justifies oh. that you go plus two and get a fucking grace of charity on crack. That that's that's your argument. That's your justification. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't care if you're tier one, tier three, tier six, and I don't give a shit. You don't get the fucking plus two easily like that. It's stupid. It's, I know, it's worse than, like I said, it's worse than Graceful Charity. 
and at the least it's fucking at the worst it's a neg all right at the worst it's a neg say both the both the fucking cards you draw are monsters then it, okay it's a neg but if you even if one of the cards you draw isn't a monster and it's something you can set then you've gone graceful charity and you also got to keep in mind Some what benefit. monsters you send. I mean, I was, we, I was still arguing with people over what's the strong, or stronger draw card, Pot of Reader, Race, or Charity. One of their arguments is that discarding to the monster, that's like a pseudo plus. So not only did you get to draw three into your deck, but even if you pitch the monsters, that's three less cards that you've been drawn to, meaning your deck is technically thinner. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also, like I said as well, it's if you get it off right, then it's better than fucking Graceful Charity. Or it's usually as good as Graceful Charity. It's rarely where you... It's worse than Graceful yeah, Charity. Yeah, it's rarely. Like, but, you're going to draw on so three cards, especially with your monster least, spell it's at least It's at least as good as a card that's been banned for many, many years. And usually it's better than Graceful Charity. <laughs> so, Just the so, they're, so, they're, so therefore it's fair and it shouldn't be hit. Got it. No, because lower toe decks, reasons. This guy's just going ham. I just find it amazing that in this community, there's, there's not a single thing we can agree on. <laughs> I know. No, we can agree. We can agree that your opponent's a scrub. Uh, MST negates. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, hey, it negated that uh, anti spell fragrance. <laughs> yeah. You know, like. I think I think the, the big dumb one now is, I think. Uh, MCO40 saying that uh, that both Cyberstein and uh, Metamorphosis uh, no, is it Metamorphosis? Met Metamorphosis. Yeah, Metamorphosis should both be unbanned. Cyberstein, I can see it's come off an OCG and it's done fucking jack shit. What the fuck are you talking about? It hasn't done jack shit. Well, from what I've seen, it's hell done jack no, shit. no, it, right, it's doing it exterior. Are you uh -huh. on fucking crack? Pay five thousand for exterior, yes, sir. <laughs> like are you talking about metal foes? They made like three of them. Three Cyberstein. Fucking damn. Okay. Yeah. Fuck you, fucking. Uh, fucking I don't keep up with OCG. metamorphosis. Oh my god, are you on fucking crack? Yeah, metamorphosis. Don't go on that. Sure. Let me go ahead and turn that level seven into a fucking last warrior. From no, man. You eat a fat dick. <laughs> Yeah, you, you just don't summon anything, and fuck you. Wow. Well, using multiple serves, multiple grass, like, over and over and over and over I mean, and if, over if and they, over. if they brought back Metamorphosis, but they banned Last Warrior from another planet, would you be cool with it then? No. Really? No. Oh. How come? Uh, should I win them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, and then it really restricts Konami from what they can do. Like, it really does. It's like, you can never make a fucking decent fusion monster every and damn, catch it again! Run that shit back, boys! <laughs> you gonna keep the- no, you're probably gonna go ahead and keep it insect and then just run over- Wow! Uh, no, I'll you. just have another Twin Twister, like, alright. Another one. Wow. Yeah, Twin Twister should probably be, like, semi limited Yeah. Because that's just too fucking much. Yeah, the ratio is too high. I think he knows. I don't agree too, with Epic. Knows. I don't agree with Epic that fucking it should be banned or that it should be limited. I don't agree with any of that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't agree that he when he was making that really bad comparison that it's like fucking Love Arvel Chain because then at that point you might as well say well any card that lets you discard is Love Arvel Chain because you still have, to, still have to fucking draw the card. You know, it's not like you're sending it directly from the deck. Yeah, like I, I, I really didn't but understand that. I comparison. didn't, I didn't, I didn't agree when he said that at all. But I, when he said that thing, no, and I didn't agree. I don't agree that it should be limited or banned. But semi-limited, yes, it's a bit too much. I agree. On like that. he I milled one and still ended up drawing into the other two. <laughs> I know. Like I said, I agree. It's a bit too consistent. You need to tweak it just a little bit. Turn the dial a little bit down. You know what yeah. I mean? But. And, but, then yeah. there, and then there's some people that agree that Carter Mine should not be hit at all, and that we should just get Harvey Feather Duster and shit. And oh, yeah. Well, heavy, it's, it's like, right. oh, yeah, so you can't do, like, you just can't fucking put in some fucking Starlight Road like yeah, you just so, saw. Yeah, so, so, like, let's, let's instead, let's give you, let's let you keep a fucking card that's better than Graceful Charity, like, 90% of the fucking time it's used, right? And then let's bring back something that only wipes your opponent's back row as the counter to the card that's better than Graceful Charity. Yeah, it's like, it's like how let's... about how about we just ban the fucking card that's better than Graceful no, Charity? No, no, because that you like... know, no, that's what actually people think. I mean, 
I mean, I guess shame on me for being conservative, but actually some people are very liberal and think that we should fight against power with power. I, with that power. because, uh, you know, because that, uh, By that logic, by that, that logic, Draco because... cows are the top tier shit, we have to unban the dragon rulers so they can fight against the Draco That's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say, because by that logic, because of fucking, like, stupid, broken meta decks nowadays, we should bring back the dragon rulers. Yeah, it's like, okay. All right, well, that's game one, clearly, that twin, twin, twin twister stuff. So let's go ahead and come back uh, for games two and or three after the inside. Be right back. All right, game two. Alaria Darkness, Alaria Darkness, Alaria Darkness. Like, I'd say I'd say that's, like, the only reason, argument for why you probably shouldn't hit Alaria Darkness. I, I'd be cool if they eroded it and said you can only use Alaria Darkness once per turn. Yeah. But like, then, if, I mean, it's, it's no stronger than a trade in, but it's just, it's so flexible as a dark. The like, problem, yeah, the problem with trading, the thing with trading is it's level 8, you know, and really, unless specific decks run level 8s, it's not like every deck runs fucking level 8s on trading, you know, but there are a lot more decks that just are dark, which yeah. is exactly my problem, one of my problems with Honest, you know, there are a lot of decks that are just, when you, when you put restrictions to a card as an attribute rather than a type or a level, it makes it way more you know, widespread. Well, I mean, if it was level, that'd be a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> no, I know, but like, no, oh, no, I'm talking levels in trading, you know, like level A. Oh. You know what I, mean? like, when I you, thought we were talking about and, Honest. No, well, I Because you, you were talking about Honest, and then you said like We were level. talking about Allure, how it was like, you know, for all darks, and then I was saying that's one of my problems with Honest, it's for all fucking lights, and then mm -hmm. I was saying that the, that's the reason that, you know, it's a, a bit too much when it's an attribute, you know, for a, for a card rather than a type or a level like trading. That's what I was meaning. Oh, okay. And throw the max C at him. That works. That yeah, works. I know. So, so if he overextends, go ahead and special summon his boots, go into break sword, you know, and do all them shenanigans. Draw a nice chunk of cards. If he's willing to do that. Or he could just take it slow, not doing anything, and, you know, Possibly get it destroyed. I don't know. Destroy him. <laughs> yeah, but this game, this game. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like in a week or two, we should be getting our ban list. Hopefully. Hopefully. Like I said, I I call Yu-Gi-Oh a the Marvel versus Capcom three of card games, and the reason that I call it that is because anyone who plays fighting games or watches fighting games and stuff like that. When you when it's about fighting games, usually it's sort of a it's like a skill based thing, you know. It's a sort of sort of strategy, sort of skill stuff like that. It's two characters, mano and mano, fighting each other. The best player usually wins, you know, unless the character they're using is complete trash tier or where facing like god tier fucking shit. And even then, if the player playing the trash good one is good enough, then they can beat the god tier guy, you know, but it's all, it's mainly about skill in fighting games. But Marvel vs. Capcom, it's all about flashy fucking combos and end the, end the fucking game in one streak and all this shit like that, and it's just a weird watered down flashy thing. This That's what Yu-Gi-Oh! is compared to other card games. Other card games are like strategy, playing your best, skill, Yu-Gi-Oh! is just like, oh, just fucking use this top tier fucking shit and just fucking go and end the duel in one turn and set up unbreakable boards and do all this shit and it's amazing. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot more luck-based than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I call it the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 of card games. Yep. <laughs> yep, and, and see, he just had to leave after that. Wow, that's interesting. That, like, so, he left? Like... Yeah, he left. It said he left on my Why did he leave? Like, did he dis disconnect or what? Like, it looked like Blue Gamer was getting worked on. So, if anything, I thought it was going to go to game three. Oh, well. We'll get another match. Bear back. Never mind. I could have sworn that I said that he left too, but no. Yeah. No. Game three. Yeah. Weird. Game three. Right, pro. You're being weird. <laughs> being Damn, weird. boy. Catch the flying oh. feet. Fuck you. Uh, and then you lose all your shit too. Ah, uh, yeah. Blank C, Blank C is like that card that was, everyone was like, that shit, and now people are like, actually it's not that bad. It really isn't. Like, Flying C can fuck up someone's day. Especially Burning the Bits. Like, I, I'm totally for Flying C, that's fine. Ghost, uh, I mean, Ghost, I mean, come on. Like, you can at least get rid of the Flying C eventually. 
Yep, and then once again, scum, 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 scum. Like, I'm actually what's, kind what's of... Added insult, what's added insult to the Burning Abyss guy is, not only is the Flying Sea fucking him over that every Burning Abyss he summons just auto-dies, but his deck is pretty much rank 3 dot deck. Flying Sea is level 3, and the irony is he can't exceed because of Flying Sea, <laughs> despite it being the right level. Mm-hmm. But the thing is that he can't get rid of it unless he uh, can crash into it. Like it's pretty much stuck there. But once the black guy can, you know, take it slow take and it build slow up, and passive, yeah, mm -hmm. he might be able to just pull this off. So, yeah, because oh yeah, tow guide. So many, so many burning abyss, and then do what? I'm actually kind of, I'm actually still wondering if they're actually gonna go like in TCG, just go all the way and just hit every single good burning abyss down to one. That would be that would be interesting if they actually did that. Just Sir to one, Graf to one, Scarm to one, Dante to one, like <laughs> if you only you get, get one. You get the bad ones. Good go for Yeah, it. go ahead, have the bad ones. More power to you, that's fine. <laughs> hey, but the bad ones are alright, they flow. Mm -hmm. Some of them are okay, like Lipic's pretty good, Farfa's yeah. of course good, but you know. In comparison to Sir Graf and Scarm, the OGs, like the trio, yeah. The trio. Like they definitely toned it down in comparison. As uh, yeah. the Burning Abyss archetype. You know, I mean, we're like, yeah, let's make these for these three, and then it was like, yeah, it's meta there. deck hype boys, and then yeah. Konami were like, oh shit, we'll just make we. You can have these ones; they're not as good. Have these ones. So yeah, we're done. Oh, all that's right. You, that's your back row, girl. Yep. You don't need it. Definitely don't need it. <laughs> I need us. Like he's getting destroyed. Like Solemn. we are actually running this Solemn back. Solemn and full map. house. Okay. He hit. he hit Solomon full house. Wow, he actually thought he was gonna go full house. Yeah. Oh, that drowning miracle. That's interesting something. that he actually thought he was gonna go uh, full house. Like, I don't know if, one, if, I don't if any. Stand by, no, no, I full, full house is full house is fine. Yeah, Bro, I was I thinking. I was thinking. Uh, by, um, I don't understand why Helio or Hello or whatever the fuck his name is. If he had the drowning mirror force, why didn't he? Why did he take the sixteen? You could have drowning mirror forced the sir and just shuffled that and the tour guide back into the deck. I guess he didn't, didn't take anything because he had, had no monster on the field because of Icarus. I guess he... he just took sixteen for no reason. I guess he didn't want to shuffle back the tour guide or no, he didn't. But he ended up doing it anyway when because he went because the blue went attack with sir. He took the sixteen, then blue went attack with um, tour guide, and instead of taking the thousand, he went Helio went drowning mirror force. Mm, okay, well, hopefully that ends up. I was like, why'd you take the 16, man? You could have saved yourself 1600 points. Well, hopefully that ends up, doesn't end up fucking him. <laughs> yeah, if he loses because it's fucking 1600 points, then, uh. Yeah. And now he's just getting poked. <laughs> By your own flying sea. Oh, irony overload. <laughs> I said this featured match though, we're, we're, we're running it back. <laughs> so I mean, the issue is, with that Flying Sea being in attack mode, the issue is, if he, even if he had something to get over that cloak, he just doesn't crash the Flying Sea and go off. Well, I mean, he is low on resources, so... Yeah. Another interesting thing is wondering if he has, uh... If that monster has enough defense to survive some attacks. And the monsters aren't something are too strong. Wow. Oh, shuffle the tour guide, get it back again. Number generator. Yeah. If that's not number generator, I don't know what it is. Because, holy, I just, you just shuffled. shuffled you put it, it on top of the, the deck. with the drowning fucking mirror force. You shuffled it back into the and deck. And then the next card he draws is the fucking tour guide that he shuffled back. Like, yeah, yep. like, if that was in a tournament right. setting, what yeah. kind of booty ass shuffling did you just do? Like, you must have shuffled, and I must have cut you perfectly right back into it. Like, statistically improbable, but still, nonetheless, number dinner here. Like, like that time on uh, DN, rip the end. Um, like that time on DN when bloody, you, what was it? It was two fucking limited cards that got spun back to the deck and the guy drew him next, then following two turns. Mm -hmm. like, yep. Slate was there, and he was like, "You were like, do you believe in number generator now? What, what, um, 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 like, yeah, that's what I thought." <laughs> All right, so. Uh, interesting enough, the monster had enough defense to survive the attack. Yep. So, that's pretty good. And now, I mean, the resources and plays... Just a quick question, just a quick question. It's league-related, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's not like there'd be any secrets or anything or anything to discuss in private. Um, you know, we got, like, a couple matches 
sorted already, mm -hmm. like recorded before the end died. Yeah. Well, when this, if this dual book thing is real, and it's, and we do league back, are we redoing the matches no. that were recorded on because they were on the end, not not dual book, or are we no. doing them on like keeping them? No, we're keeping them. They're good. All right. They were good, entertaining matches, and we have the official results. I think it, I think if we redo them, we'd kind of be cheating yeah, we the, might the change winners. The results, yeah. yeah, we change the results. So, no, no, right, no. Fair they won fair and square. It would, it might depend on how Dolan Book looked different. People might get nostalgia, and they'll probably be commenting and asking, "How long have you had these videos?" <laughs> yeah, because because they probably find it interesting that not only would we not be talking about Dolan Book in the videos, but we actually be talking about you know DM dying, and you know, yeah, by right. that time it'd be long dead. <laughs> wait, wait, what? By the time, like, if, depending on how long Dolan Book takes to go up. Yeah. I mean, like, so, I don't know even if it's real, but apparently if it is real, it's going to take, like, maybe a month, two months, maybe. No, uh -huh, we got time to wait. That's what people are reckoning. I mean, it is done by Steven's channel, so we already know that that's at least good. Yep, because he's the guy who fucking got, got all the pictures back when uh, the end was like, no, we have no pictures. The darkness. Yeah. It's just, it's just still, even despite how I didn't use the end, it's still kind of sad that the end's been around for five years and now it's just like gone. Yeah. 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 Well, because Konami, <laughs> but I find it very fucking interesting timing that Konami are making a Yu-Gi-Oh game for the Xbox One, the PS4, and the PC this year, coming out apparently, right? And mm -hmm. now this year, the end decides to go and get fucking hit. But it isn't Konami, all right? It isn't <laughs> Konami. It's totally not like Konami just went, yeah, you do that. You gotta like, take them down so we can get this game out and more people will buy it because they won't have the online things for free. Uh, but we didn't. We didn't officially tell you to do that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I find it interesting that it seems like he's getting set up. And he has the aggressiveness, but he's just kind of taking it slow right now. So he, yeah, he has the Rakiri. Oh, well, he couldn't attack anyway last turn because it's Soul Charge. God damn, yeah. paying a light points, but it doesn't matter as long as he has plays. So, yeah, but it helps the lower two decks fight the higher two deck. Uh, <laughs> right to it. So that Rakiri, though, that, that's going to definitely put some work. Nope, oh, Kessin, now, now you cast it. You get the fucking vanities. I mean, that's fine. He's probably going to pop like... that set card anyway. And I could just use Rakiri, pop your uh, Ancient Coat. Pop your set card and just attack over the flying sea. You would literally have no cards in hand, and I believe you only have you would only have one Phantom Knight. Yeah. Nope, nope, that was a boots. So he had two Phantom Knights. I uh, don't see any. Nope, there's no Phantom Knights uh, trap cards in there yet. So yeah, yeah this duel definitely turned around resource wise. Flying sea, because of flying sea, you just can't you can fucking get start a million. You pass it out. Yeah, this, uh, this is, that's that's the problem. This is, PK what I mean, but this is what I mean about. Dante, if it was banned. Yeah, you know, yeah. If, if Dante was let's definitely face it, banned, if he had if he had one Dante there, imagine how differently this duel probably would have been. But because no Dante touched the field this turn, couldn't get that three mil, not even once. That's why I think Dante personally should be banned because you only need one. You only need to get the effect once. You don't even need to get the effect once. But the problem is that that would just completely like there there is no yeah, if but about it. The DA are dead. Yeah, and but, I'm, I'm I mean, just not sure if Konami wants to kill them, like hit them, know, so they're the not first playable. That Konami's killed for fucking reasons, really. Yeah, I mean, I'd be fine with it. Either or, I'd, I'd really be fine with it either or. But it would definitely, you know, PK Fire would just be done. Like PK Fire and Burning Mist be done. If there's no Dante, like one Dante, you might be able to do something. Like even that one mil could definitely be worth it. I mean, it is still. I think if Dante got banned, they would personally drop. The burning abyss, but they probably keep the speed roads and the PKs. I don't, even, th I don't even think they then would they go could make there. It like a, so they could make it like a super fast synchro deck. No, I don't even think they would go there. I think they would drop the speed roads, keep the Phantom Knights, and tell you the truth, I think they would just go with heroes. I think they would go with PK heroes. The floatiness and the protection of the Phantom Knights on your uh, on your dark wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. We saw the deck top. I, I don't remember. Where or when or how it was or what tournament it was, but I remember I remember Cap G talking about it, PK Heroes, so I think they'd probably go to that if anything. But Phantom Knights are still really good, it's just you know, you won't have that Dante enabler milling three multiple Dantes, too. Like, yeah. plus two or three Dante mill a shit ton, a lot of Burning Abyss floating, Phantom Knights floating. Like, 
I mean, like I say, when it comes to the whole Dante, should he be at one or should he be banned? I un unlike most people who are like Dante banned, I understand why people would be like, no, Dante at one because you've killed Burning Abyss. But at the same time, Burning Abyss has been meta for ages. It's been really strong for ages. Konami have made all the fucking money that, money that they would ever want out of it. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but it wouldn't be the first deck that Konami has k completely fucking killed as a casualty just to stop stupid, like, you know, community-made made rogue decks. It wouldn't be the first set that time that they've killed a specific archetype off to stop a community rogue deck of collaborations and things, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I said, we didn't think that they were going to go to the extreme of uh, banning Construct. We're like, no, if you ban Construct, you kill Shadal. You did it. And they, and they were just like, no, fuck it, Shadal's, we've made the money, you're dead now, fuck you. Like, yeah. But then, of course, there's also the other side of the argument when it comes to just Bonte being limited, and uh, it's my uh, favorite word. What? Precedent. Drink. <laughs> yes. I am. <laughs> so, you know, with that being said... You I know... would have accepted your challenge on that video, but I don't want to die of love poisoning. Because <laughs> uh, it's interesting. If they just do what OCG does, then they can clearly see the results, that they would get rid of Burning Abyss. But I think, I, I, I'm not sure, I, I saw in Lithiums, I didn't see the ratio being too high in respective. I saw a couple of them, you know, uh, Fence Knight stuff. Like, I don't even think it was in the, the top five decks, so that's probably an appropriate spot. And, and we'll, you also we'll, have we'll to, see what the thing with Dante is you also have to remember it's a sleep card. Like, I mean, it's, it's a fucking just a generic extra deck mill free cards. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, at any, at any time, it could be another case of, you know, in the say if we hit Dante to one, what's to say that in the future people aren't like, well, we're going to just run this engine to make a fucking rank three go into Dante and mill some fucking shit and let's go. You know? I mean, that's exactly what it'd be. Yeah, exactly. I definitely think that Dante at one would probably be the end of. Uh... It probably would. I don't. It probably would be the end of it being meta, but I don't think it'd be the end of it being a deck. So, so it'd probably, probably be like Shadows. Keep... No, because well, Shadows sort of aren't even a deck anymore. I mean, what do they do now? I mean. They're not meta, but they're still a deck. They can still hit you with the window of the Shikinaga. Like, it still yeah. has plays. And with, uh, with it seems like trains coming out soon, it seems like it might be possible to do Shadal trains that we never got. So. Or you can do uh, Prediction Princess Shadal. Yeah, so, see? So, just the evolving depth. You won't be meta anymore, but you're still at least something. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, said, the problem we, with Dante we... is it's a sleep... It could be a sleep card that could come back and bite you in the ass any time in the future still. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just mid format, boom! Here, fucking Dante. If you use this, let's go. Oh, great. So uh, that is it, people. We are in that back, and Black Wings won. Black Wings yeah. beat. Uh, uh, shout out to Flying PK C. Fire. Yeah, shout out to Flying C. So shout out to the utility cards, and uh, you know sometimes it's what you have to do to have uh, the non-meta fight the meta. But uh, he actually did at least some of the plays on his own strength and his own court. So not bad, not bad. So. uh yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and call that uh, episode of Death Pro Duel Commentary. So thank yep. you guys for all the support. Um, if you're wondering how, how the end card in the banner uh, lunar, I, I requested that he uh, go ahead and change that up for me. He's been sick lately, so, you know, no rush, but it'll, it'll get changed. It'll get changed, so, yeah. It's a, just a simple change. It's literally like just put Death Pro over the end, done, you know, so. Yeah. Just a little aesthetic change. Uh, so thank you, Stanzi, for joining. No problem. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I uh, will see you guys back on Thursday with another Dev Pro Duel commentary. Alright people, thanks for watching.